What is going on guys? It is Trifecta J here with episode 5 of my Loyola Marymount Dynasty and I'm doing a recruiting update to start. We have Joe Tucson, a 7 foot 4 center, James Beard, a 5'10 point guard, and Garth Painter, a 6'7 small forward who is a good shooter. Now, in this episode, we're going to be taking on the Auburn Tigers in Auburn, so this should be a very interesting game. One of three of our final non-conference games, we finish with Auburn, North Carolina a and and then at home against Oregon State. So this should be a very interesting game. The power forward matchup is Marin Morner and Simeon Bowers. Bowers is built like a tank. We'll have to be able to see if Morner can handle him down low. But we're about to tip off here from Auburn as we're about to get underway. And the tip is up. And we are underway. Auburn has the ball now. Mason working up on the top. He swings it around into the corner. Mason working fadeaway shot. And that is good. Great shot to start the game for Auburn as they are up 2 to nothing. We are 3-3 three and three on the road. And we only have one loss at home. So we're here much, much better home team than we are on the road. We have struggled a lot on the road. But a great pass to Okanji down low who lays that up on the reverse layup. 4-4, a low scoring start to the game. Mason down low, and he is Auburn's first six points. He is playing very well. He was the NCAA's leading scorer last year who transferred from Niagara. But five minutes left in the first half. Up top, down low to Delph. He shoots, and over the outstretched arm of Kanji, that goes down. One point lead for Auburn. Hayes in the game now, kicks it to Spears, and that is a long two that is good. One point lead for LMU. Down low to Bowers, he shoots, and it is no good. Delph on the rebound, and he puts that shot up in to give Auburn the lead back. Now LMU has the lead once more, steal, and pass to Matt Hayes, and one. The lead is now up to one point. KT Harrell working up top on the wing. He's trying to get down low on Spears, and a great shot right there. Spears cannot handle KT Harrell. He is just a much better player, but now Mason from the corner. He is up to nine points on the day, and at the end of the first half, a long three-pointer is no good, so we go into the half down by three, not shooting the ball very well, 35%. This is definitely the struggle of this team all year. We usually are pretty in close games to an extent, at least for most of the game, even when we shoot like 35%. So it's definitely a struggle. We have got to improve that, and I feel like as this series goes along and we get better players in, it will definitely improve as Antoine Mason gets the and one to go. Auburn now up by six, pushing on the break. Payne, long two, good. And that is now a four-point lead. Hayes pushing in on the break and kicks it to Spears who knocks down a three. Lead is now up to five. We're starting to make a comeback as pulling up Delph gets the offensive rebound as he has just been a beast on the boards. He out towers every single person on this team. So he is a force down low. But KT Harrell gets that shot in and gets it to go. Four minutes left in the second half. Into the corner for Mason. And the three ball is working for Auburn as Mason is just showing you his offensive prowess. But Evan Payne, a long two. He gets that shot to go 10 point lead down low to Delph. He's working and a great spinning shot is that fall, as that ball rolls down and goes. Now Delph on the fast break showing you what he can do and that is somehow a continuation call. Not really sure how that counted as an and one but now the lead is 14. This game is pretty much over. But for three, Spears makes it an 11 point game, trying to make it interesting. Inbound pass, and that ball is stolen. Krakovic back dribbles, and for three, lead is now down to eight. Eight seconds left. Hayes gets the ball, trying to push it up the floor. He pulls up for three, and it's good. The lead is now down to five, and we will get the ball, but that pretty much does it. We would end up losing by five, a tough loss. A pretty good game, we tried our best at the very end. But you can't get down like we were in this game. That's been the lesson that this team has really learned throughout this year. We got that way to Iowa, St. John's, and just every team that we have lost to. At some point, we were down. And even some of our wins, we had gotten down. But a look at the stats. Okanji played pretty well. Evan Payne, not a very efficient night. He shot 30%, but 
Delph comes up with 13 and 13, a double double for him. As like I said, he is just huge down low. He is a load to handle down there. As Antone Mason, he shoots very well. And now we'll look at the stats. We were out rebounded. Our three point percentage was not that bad 33%, hit six of them, but our free throw percentage was bad again. Now we beat North Carolina A&T by 36 points. So the games that against the lesser competition we are just destroying but when we play against the up upper tier teams Auburn's not an up tier team but they're they're a good team we struggle but now our first home game in a very long time before we this is our last game before conference play we're taking on the Oregon State Beavers who are led by star point guard Gary Payton the second yes his dad is Gary Payton so this should be a very interesting matchup the matchup to watch in this game is Langston Morris and Evan Payne, the two starting shooting guards. This is a very young Oregon State team. We'll have to see how they can handle this pressure from Loyola Marymount. But it's about time to tip off as the ball is up and LMU wins the tip. Now LMU working the ball already two minutes into the game. Payne working gets a screen from DG. He shoots from the elbow in. That shot is good. We are up by two early in this game. A very low scoring game to start out. But now down low. A great cut from Peyton. And that shot is good. So 6-6. Six, six, halfway through the first half. And what a take from Oregon State. As that is a great play right there. Now in the break once more. Peyton driving on Krakovich. And it is good. He finished over... Peter Herman and drove right past Krakovich. But now a great play from the big man goes with a falling away behind turned around layup. Oregon State pulls up in transition and their lead is now up to 11 as their offense is starting to heat up and our offense is still staying stagnant. Into the corner for Spears and that is what he does best. You cannot leave him open as he knocks down that three. So nine seconds left, pull up, and Peyton Jr. knocks that down. But now towards the end, shot up, and air ball. That will take us into halftime. A 10-point game, LMU shooting 22% from the field. If we can just improve that slightly, we should be able to get back in this game. At one point, we were shooting 18%, so we at least have per improved a little bit. But down low for Okanji, into the corner for Payne, and it's good. Three ball goes nine-point lead. Just under nine minutes left. Flint for three. Three ball starting to heat up now as that is back-to-back -back threes. Cut it to a six-point lead. Now Oregon State on offense, and a great take. What an offensive rebound, and that is back up and in. We've definitely struggled a lot with our offensive rebound, but Payne for three again, and that shot is good. Lead is now down to seven. We're making improvements. We just have to keep getting it down. But now three for Oregon State. That's no good. And another offensive rebound on the putback. Oregon State working from the elbow down in the post. And we try and go for the steal. And that is a great move into the paint. Spears not able to block that shot. Just under four minutes left for in the game. Lead is now up to eight. And Peyton's shot gets blocked. It looked like he had an easy shot. Sammy gets that one blocked. Or blocks that one also. So 12 point. Wyatt driving. He takes it coast to coast. Not known for his scoring. But he gets that one to go. Wyatt once more. And another good layup right there. The lead is now down to four. We have come back in this game. This is a great improvement. And now down low. Peyton. That shot is good. And one. What a finish. But Okanji blocks that shot right into Flint's hands. He's on the fast break now. Passes it to Payne for three, and it is good. Four-point game. Over one minute left. Trying to set up our pressure on Gary Payton as that ball is deflected right into DG's hands, and we will get the ball. Need to get some points right here under a minute left. Down low, and that shot is good. Two-point game. Passing it up. It's now a four-point game to Payne for a long two, and he has come up huge in these last couple of minutes. This is looking like this could be a very exciting finish. And that pass is stolen. We need points right here. Down low to Okanji. And he slams it home with authority. So now four seconds left. Peyton trying to get the game winning shot. Shoots. And it is no good. We will go to overtime. 
as this is now a five minute game. So 38 38, just over four minutes left. Fade away, and Oregon State gets that shot to go. So we're up by two now, swinging the ball around. DG trying to drive in. He shoots, and off the glass gets that to go. It's now a tie game. Just over two minutes left now. Matt Hayes into the corner for DG. He pump fakes, driving in, and he gets that one to go. He is our four points in overtime. Evan Payne working. He sees a man up top. That's Matt Hayes for three, and that shot is good. Five-point game now, and that should end up doing it. Matt Hayes will get fouled. We'll have to see if he can knock these shots down as they're not even in the bonus yet. Krakovich gets fouled with 1.4 seconds left, and he will have to shoot it. First shot is good. That makes it a six-point game. 1.4 seconds left. That pretty much does it. Second free throw is no good, and the clock will hit double zero. LMU pulls off the incredible comeback to end conference play. The player of the game is Godwin Okanji. I probably would have given it to Evan Payne or maybe DG, who both came up huge in the last bit of the game. Payne puts up 17 points, a great game from him. He shoots very efficient this game. Seven for 10, shot 70%. Gary Payton Jr., he put up a huge performance for Oregon State, tried to will them to the win, but we just were too much for them. They turned the ball over. And our free throw percentage still wasn't good, but I hope you did enjoy, because I'm out.